How are we doing financially in Spain? Have we cracked it yet? Uh, I would say we're probably, could be a month, could be six months. Uh, it all depends how things pan out. We've got a few good ideas which have started to come together. The teaching English stuff, um, I've pretty much got about, oh, about another three, four days until I'm qualified for that. Um, I've already got three students um, that want tutoring. Um, but the reality is I want to try and do it on my own. I, I want to try and move away from using other schools and market ourselves. Um, the reason being is I can see there's a lot more potential than simply picking up $10 to 20 euros an hour. Because that's only part of the process. Um, just You know, tutoring is only a very small part of that whole market. Um, but beyond that, there is other stuff that's come through. This is where long-term and short-term things mix. Short-term, there's a web chat thing I'm putting together. It's $13 for 20 web chats a month. If you go over, you just pay for another $13 and gives you another 20. Um, I put that together for somebody yesterday because they're not sure how many customers they're going to get, so they don't know how many inquiries they want. They don't want to pay for somebody full-time. So I said, look, let's just do a pay-as-you-go. If it works out, it works out. If it don't, it don't. We can adapt. That's the, that's the key to this. Um, we've got some power plants we're working on. I'm hoping to get one of those in this year. See, you know how I said, uh, the, I said one and not a few? The, the reality is, for half a million euros... I'm being realistic. <laughs> if I can sell one, I'll be happy. The FM software, there's meetings going ahead for that. So things are starting to start to move, but as you can see, it's took me six months to get this far. Um, financially, we're still okay. And once April's done her course on the teaching English, we can tutor, tutor and still do the stuff in the background. This is the key element. You know why I stressed about how you get free time in the Philippines. Spain's the same, but Spain's a bit more expensive in some ways. Um, if, you were, if we were a couple, the Philippines would be cheaper hands down. But with kids, um, I would say Spain, if you compared the quality, Spain's above it, uh, above the Philippines. Uh, because of the... We got Zoe with autism and... Uh, just the general standard of the teaching, etc. But in the Philippines, to get the same sort of standard we get, you're talking an international school, uh, which could be $16,000 a year. Um, here, it's part of the state system. As long as I'm paying tax in the country, it's fine. How can I put them on par? Uh, because it's a very, very good school. <laughs> um, I can't say any clearer than that. You know, at the end of the day, it's a good school. This is the thing, because some it's international or uh, private doesn't mean it's fantastic above something else. Um, it's normally due to the way people teach, etc. And I would say because we're at home more, we can also do more tuition because we do a lot more with the kids because we have the time to do it. If we were working full time, say in the UK, the kids' education would suffer. Also, I don't believe the schools are the same sort of quality as they are in Spain. Um, I know some people would disagree with me, but I know a lot of people would agree with me. I know my education is far better than my brothers. My brothers were educated in the UK. I was educated in Germany. Um, so it's as simple as that, you know, from my own experience. It's nice here this morning. I have to admit, my car, my van had a flat battery this morning um, because it's been bank holiday here, so it hasn't been run for a few days. And what we actually normally run it for is taking the kids to school, which is probably about a four-mile round journey. So the battery's taken a bit of a beating. So here I am. I thought, well, I'm going to have to stand here because I haven't got a spare key. Um, I'll come up to the beach because I don't want the engine rattling away outside the house. Um, so I thought, well, why don't I come up here? 
And while I was up here, I thought, why don't I make this video? But yeah, it's it's when you do this, you realise why you're here, though. You know, even when you have stressful days, this is you know you can go here and just go. This is what it's about. And the other thing you got to bear in mind in with Spain is that its national wage is about 750 euros. Um, it's not hard to be above that. So if people can survive on that, then you already know that you can survive on it. We live quite an expensive lifestyle in comparison to most people. Uh, we like eating out, we like good food. Uh, we buy a lot of bits and pieces for like camera equipment. If you look how much I've spent on camera equipment in the last year, you would see that I, I do spend a lot of money that you don't really see, but if you sat there with a calculator, you'd see how much I actually spend. There's a lot of stuff I invest in just to try it, see how it goes. Um, purely out of seeing uh, what the quality is like. Because I want to improve these videos, which is, which is part and parcel of all this stuff in Spain. It's all a bit of an education. Um, now, I know some people will go, oh, but you had the call center in the Philippines and it's all there. Look, the call center stuff can be kick-started at any time. It's, it's not a stressful thing to start. Um, it's time-consuming when you're doing it, though. If you can get, like, these web chats, um, which are $13 for 20, 20 chats a month going, you could be sat on the beach doing it via your mobile phone. Or if there's enough of them going through, I put an agent on that sits at their home and does it do it for me. Whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. The, those types of income are the ones which I'm aiming for. The ones that remove me from being in a fixed location to allow me to be mobile. Um, and that's why it could take 18 months to get everything going the way I want it going. But we will get there. I've got a meeting tomorrow actually with a real estate agent to do with marketing his properties. Um, there's another business opportunity that's occurring. There's a lot of stuff that just needs to bear fruit. And you've got to understand when you're selling property, if you can get the leads and close the deal, you could be earning 5,000 euros a, a sale. And for the, for realistically, We would want about, say, 13,000 euros a year to, to live here. Um, to meet the criteria, 14,000. Um, so 14,000 euros a year. So you're only talking, say, four house sales. And you're, you're pretty much living a cushy life. Four houses a year, not a month. Uh, Inquiries-wise, I've had about five already. Um, but it's closing the deal that's the, the hard bit and a lot of people seem to wander off when they get to Spain uh, which is why I quite happily point them in the right direction but it is nice that they actually bother to take the time to get in touch with you while you're here because there's a lot of properties I know which are a better deal than a lot of the stuff that's been advertised why? because I know a lot of people that sell them direct if they sell them direct the, the rates are normally lower anyway I've not done enough. Thanks for watching.